Look at those sushi kittens! Hello everyone! As some of you may know, I recently moved to a house and that is why I haven't been posting videos for a couple of weeks. But moving means I had to go to IKEA, of course. Not sponsored, I wish though. And IKEA apparently has art supplies, so let's try out some of them today. And I'm in my new art studio recording this and it may sound a little echoey, but I think it will get better once I get some more stuffs on the wall, so please bear with me. So these are the things I picked out and I was kind of in a rush or else I would have filmed a little from the store. There were a bunch of more supplies like acrylic looking paints and some more pens but the paints were actually kind of expensive but if you enjoyed this video I might try out some more IKEA supplies in the future. So the art supplies are called Mala, which means to paint in Swedish. The first things we have is like a box with paint pans in the lid and inside the box there is a couple of water jars and paint brushes. It is actually kind of neat, I would have loved this as a kid. It has quite a decent amount of colors too. Next up is markers that I'm guessing is water-based. The nib looks a little Crayola-ish, but other than that it looks like regular old kids markers. Then we have something that I assume are like ballpoint pen or gel pens. They come with a little protection thing on the nib so that they won't dry out while they're in the package in the store. They do feel quite plasticky and cheap, but it comes in gold and silver, so that is pretty sweet. Next is what looks like plain color pencils, but what caught my attention is that they are actually water soluble. So they are watercolor pencils and they come with a little eraser too. And the last thing was very child safe or adult safe to get into. I know there were two paintbrushes coming with a watercolor set, but these look so cute and cheap so I had to try them. They are very soft though and Sally does approve. Testing out the markers, they were actually quite nice to draw with. The kind of triangular or pyramid shape nib made so that depending on how you angle the pen, you can get a wider or a thinner line. Now I'm using quite a thick and smooth paper, but it seems like the pens isn't really tearing the paper, even if I'm layering the markers quite a bit. And the colors are pretty nice too. The gel pens on the other hand was not so smooth to draw with, I could feel them gripping the paper. The colors turns out pretty vibrant, but my favorite has to be the silver pen, it looks so shiny. Then the watercolor pencils, these really surprised me. I was expecting waxy and not very pigmented colors because they are so cheap, but they did actually turn out very vibrant and I didn't have to push hard at all. Then when adding the water, the colors felt very chalky, but they dissolved easily and turned out kind of vibrant. The watercolors also turned out very chalky, but I feel it is okay, it is for kids, so it isn't really bothering me. They do look a little pale though, so I tried letting one of the pans soak in water for a little while to get really rich and pigmented. And you can really see the difference from the first red that I painted and the second one where I let the paint soak in water beforehand. Then lastly, the brushes. The flat ones was really nice for covering larger areas and they are soft and nice so they works well for watercolors I think. And I do prefer the round ones though, I like that they are so thick or poofy. So when adding pressure you can get quite thick lines and you can also get very fine lines if you use less pressure. And they didn't lose any hairs while I tested them so thumbs up for that. So of course I'm using the free tiny little IKEA pencil for the sketching. I thought it was gonna be harder to use but it worked pretty well. The only thing that was kind of a problem was the pencil smudging a lot so I used a kneaded eraser to remove some of the excess graphite. 
And I was thinking back and forth what I wanted to draw and unicorn popped up in my head because I like to draw unicorns. And I asked my boyfriend too what he thought I should draw with these supplies and he also said unicorn but a unicorn eating strawberries. So I was like alright I'll do that. And I first taped down the paper so it will stay in place and not warp and bend too much with the watercolors but also to get a nice white border around the artwork. It is so fun to be making videos and art again. I was only away from YouTube for a couple of weeks, but I really missed it, even if it was nice and needed with a break. I've been totally off my routines lately because of the move, but having a video schedule again really helps me feel like everything is normal. It is funny, when I tested out supplies in the beginning, I thought, hey, this isn't too bad, the supplies are quite decent. Uh-uh, nope. As soon as I started on a real art piece, I felt immediately it was gonna be a challenge. And don't get me wrong, the supplies are pretty cheap, so I wasn't really expecting anything fancy. And I'm sure that kids will have a lot of fun with them, no matter what. But they just felt so weird to work with. The watercolors push us away themselves and lift themselves up. And it was quite hard to layer the colors unless they completely dried and even then it was challenging. The watercolor pencils were pretty useless to be honest, they turned out super super pale once I added water to them. They did look pretty nice on their own though, just as color pencils, but I have to give it to them that they do dissolve really nicely, you can't really see any graininess. So let me tell you a little about this art piece. Since we're about to celebrate midsummer here in Sweden, it will actually be yesterday when this video goes up. I don't know how many other countries that celebrates it, but to most people here in Sweden, it is quite an important festivity. I don't really know why, because it is actually a bit weird when you think of it. We usually dress a cross in leaves and then we dance around it and then we drink a little and some people drink a lot and while we drink, and I don't even know why I say we because I don't drink, but when people drink they usually sing a lot of silly songs and we also eat a lot of pickled herrings with potatoes and sour cream and we also have to eat a lot of strawberries, that is very important. So I thought it was fitting that this unicorn is eating strawberries and it is wearing a flower crown which is also a midsummer thing here to make and wear flower crowns and I thought the Swedish midsummer theme was fitting for this piece since I use IKEA supplies which is Swedish. Not the supplies themselves though because they are apparently made in Italy but IKEA is Swedish. Anyway, I'm done trying to explain this piece now, I don't even know how interesting it is. But speaking of IKEA, I've heard that people outside of Sweden has been wondering if the IKEA product names are real words or just nonsense. And yes, they are often real things. Either it is just words or play on words or just name of places. I once saw a carpet called Ulgump which directly translated means woolbutt. So even if I said in the beginning that the brushes were kind of nice and soft, they were actually quite challenging to work with. They were a bit clumsy to hold and it was hard to control them, but I still like the poofy bristle. I first added all the wet mediums and then I added all the details with the markers and gel pens, which actually looks pretty nice. And I think adding outlines to this piece really brought it together because it was about to become a real poop piece. I was fully committed the whole time, but there were many times I thought to myself, what the heck am I doing? Also, if you're new here and this is the first of my art that you see, please check out my other videos too. I promise that this is not what my art normally looks like. So I noticed that the dried watercolors had really rough and chalky texture and it did smudge and come off to your fingers if you rubbed on the surface, but it isn't very surprising to be honest. I must say I am actually pretty pleased with how this piece turned out. It ended up way better than I was expecting when I was in the middle of the process. I love the strawberries, they are so cute and terrified that the unicorn is gonna eat them. Poor things. 
So I hope you enjoyed this drawing. I had a lot of fun working on it and it was nice making something goofy and easy going. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon if you haven't already to get notified every time I post new art and videos and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!